this is Vanas. Today I came with a new topic in universe. Universe is all of space, time, including planets, galaxies, stars and all other forms of matter and energy. We learnt about universe in previous videos. Now we are going to learn a new topic in universe. Eclipses. So generally you know that the earth rotates around its axis and also revolves around the sun. At the same time the moon also rotates very slowly and revolves around the earth. So these eclipses occur because of the revolution of earth and moon. There are generally two eclipses solar eclipse and lunar eclipse solar eclipse so in solar eclipse the moon comes in between of the sun and the earth so generally in this condition the sun looks like a ring for few countries of the earth because the sun comes because the moon comes in front of the sun. But it's not occurring for all the countries. For, for countries at the sides and poles, it might look in different view. It depends on the earth's rotation. So recent annual solar eclipse occurred on July 2nd, 2020. And the recent common solar eclipse occurred on January 29th, 2021. And also this solar eclipse was first found by a British scientist, Sir Edmund Halley in 1715 CE. For most annual solar eclipse, Scientists suggest to wear sunglasses and other eclipse-proof glasses to see sun during this annual solar eclipse. Because during this condition, sun's rays can damage or harm our skin and eyes. We are going to learn solar eclipse with our model. So this is the model and this is sunlight. So sun is the source of light. And this is earth and this is moon. As you can see in solar eclipse, the moon will be in between of sun and earth. Right? So generally there are two types of solar eclipse. Common solar eclipse and annual solar eclipse. So in common solar eclipse, generally it will be full moon. It occurs once every 30 days. So it will be like this in full in full moon. So uh, this is full moon. But in annual solar eclipse, the moon will go a bit far away from the earth and also go a bit high. So because of that, because of going too far, the sun's light could be visible. So for most countries, it looks, it looks like a ring. And for other countries, it can look in a different view. So these are the faces of the moon. And as you see, here, here it is in Gibbous moon. This is half moon. After going here, it will be in crescent moon. And here, there will be no light and it will be no moon. Again, here this is a crescent moon. This is a half moon. This is a gibbous moon. And again, it will come back to full moon. So, once every 30 days, it becomes full moon. And now, we are going to learn about lunar eclipse. 
So in lunar eclipse, the earth comes in between of the sun and moon. So in this condition, the moon will be no moon. So recent annual lunar eclipse occurred in January 2018. This annual lunar eclipse occurs once every two or three years. But as I told, common lunar eclipse occurs once every 30 days. And also, the, an Indian scientist and a mathematician called Aryabhatta first found this lunar eclipse in 499 Anno Domini. We are going to learn about lunar eclipse with the model. So, this is the sun's light. So, this is earth and this is moon. You know it. So, as you can see, this is a part having day and this is having night. As you can see, the moon is not getting any light. So, the, this face of moon is no moon. It will be not appearing and this no moon occurs once every 30 days. So this is common lunar eclipse. But there is another which is annual lunar eclipse. In this special eclipse, this moon goes a bit high and also the earth's shadow will fall onto it. So it will become yellowish. Because as, as you see, some light is falling on the moon and earth's shadow is also falling. So, because of this, the moon will appear yellowish or reddish on annual lunar eclipse. So, this lunar eclipse is not seen by all the part of the earth. It's only seen by the part having night. But the part here which is having day could not see this annual lunar eclipse. Thank you.